Oi! What? It's been a month. What have you been doing? Well... Came up with a name for the show. Uh, Education Alan. Okay, so that's something... I didn't oh, come up with it, Snooge oh. did. Oh, okay. What did I actually do? Nothing. Luckily, the members of your dungeon actually did something for you. Well, looks like we're doing networking this time. Oh boy. There are two main types of computer network. LAN and WAN. LAN stands for Local Area Network and only covers a small geographical area, e.g. a school or an office. And these networks are mainly used to connect various devices together, such as computers, smart TVs and printers. The two types of LAN you can have are client servers or peer-to-peer. -peer. A client server network is managed by a server and all other devices are the clients. Files and software are stored centrally on the server so it can be accessed on other computers while P2P networks lack the central server and all files are stored on the individual computer. WAN stands for Wide Area Network and connects LANs all together, regardless of geographical location. An example of a WAN is, of course, the internet. It contains many networks, both domestic and business, together. Unlike a LAN, organizations have to hire infrastructure from telecommunications companies to connect to a WAN. This may sound like a big load of audible technobabble, so we'll use a more day-to-day -day scenario to explain this. All the devices in your house are connected together locally, either via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. This is a local area network, but this network is only limited to your house. But before you can do that, you have to get your network up and running, so you're going to need a few things. A network interface card, either wired or wireless, in your device to connect to a network, a router to transmit data between networks, a switch to connect devices to a LAN and send data to the correct device, although there's no need for one anymore as most home routers come with a switch built in, Ethernet cables if you're going for a wired network, or a Wi-Fi if you're going for wireless. Congratulations, you've set up a local area network now, yay! I wish I could talk to girls. But this network is limited to your house. It doesn't allow you to access a website, for example, as it has no way of connecting to the website server. So you go and buy a broadband subscription, in my case that's BT, which allows you to connect to the website servers and transmits the data to your computer. Congratulations, now you're free to surf the net however you please. <laughs> Ooh, wait, what? Advantages of a network! Multiple users can use the same hardware, such as printers, all at once without having one printer for one computer, which would be heavily expensive. User accounts are all stored centrally on a server instead of individual computers, so people can log in from any device in the network. Emails and software that allow collaborative work can be used on a network, and data is easy to back up as all data is stored on the file server. Disadvantages! Networks can be very expensive to set up. For a medium-sized office network, the average cost in America came to around $1,055 to purchase and set up absolutely everything. Viruses can easily spread between devices when connected to a network, and if the file server breaks down, the files can no longer become accessible. So, if you're going to print off a homework on the school network and it shuts down, well, you're boned. Around me are familiar 